Okay, so how do we fix this issue? How do we repair this domino effect? How do we stand all those dominoes back up and decrease this vicious cycle? In fact, how do we get the body back into a beneficial cycle? How do we get it to restore itself? Well, here's the thing. This happened in a very linear process. And so what we do is we have to follow the same linear process, restoring each piece as we go along. Now we can do them at the same time, but we need to be aware of what we are doing. The first thing we need to do, and perhaps the most difficult thing for those of you who have been chronic exercisers and extreme dieters, is this first piece, which is rest the nervous system. Remember, this happened because of that nervous system seesaw, the sympathetic overdrive that threw the entire system out of balance. If we cannot rest the sympathetic nervous system, if we do not stop the incessant overdrive of the sympathetic nervous system, we cannot get the metabolic system back online. And this is the problem that many people have because they simply refuse to break the vicious cycle by stopping the incessant cardio, by stopping the extreme exercise programs, and by stopping these calorie lowering programs and extreme carbohydrate deprivating programs that led to the issue in the first place. You have got to find a way to rest the nervous system. And we are going to be talking about this in detail. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I know from experience, from vast clinical experience, working with hundreds and hundreds and uh, hundreds of people going through this process, that this is normally where people get stuck and refuse to change their beliefs and their mindsets. And therefore, this never changes and they never get better. The next thing that we need to do after and only after we rest the nervous system is restore hormones. Here's what you don't understand. What a lot of people want to do is they want to say, oh, well, I'll just go right to the hormones. I'll restore hormones by taking supplements or taking hormone therapy. It does not work that way because it does not matter how many supplements you are taking or if you're taking bioidentical hormones and everything else, if you do not fix the issue in the first place, it's sort of like bailing a boat with a Dixie cup on one end and filling up that same sinking boat with a fire hose on the other. You cannot make a difference unless you deal with the cause of the problem. Once we get these two, and this is normally where people get stuck, then we can begin to replace some of the digestive capacity. What happens for people is that these things become so dysfunctional for so long, the nervous system and the hormonal system, that the digestive system can no longer digest and assimilate foods. Many people will know this. Many people will feel gas and bloating or sensitivities to foods that they used to tolerate with no problem. Some people won't even recognize this though. They'll say, hey, my digestion is fine. And what we have found is that no, it is not, that you need help with digestion. This is where some supplements come in that are absolutely critical to get you absorbing your nutrients again to break this vicious cycle. That is the repletion of the nutrients. So again, this follows a very linear process. You cannot restore hormones if you don't first rest the nervous system. You really cannot help the digestive system if you don't first rest the nervous system and restore hormone balance. You certainly cannot replete nutrients, number four, without first correcting your digestive capacity. You could take all the supplements in the world, but if you can't digest them and assimilate them, then you have a problem, don't you? It will not work. The next thing is rebuilding mitochondria. Rebuilding those energy factories, getting them to function again, which oftentimes means taking in the correct types of fats, saturated fats, phospholipids, unsaturated fats. You need to know what is required to rebuild your mitochondrial engines. And then after all of this, step one through five, that's when we begin to reboot the metabolism, to stimulate the metabolism once again, to begin ramping up our fat burning. Here is an interesting thing though. When you think about this, these six things that must be done in linear sequence, one after the other, and that's the primary reason why people fail, because they only choose one or two and focus on them out of sequence. One of the things that a lot of people do is they simply get into this issue with metabolic dysfunction, metabolic non-responsiveness, metabolic damage, and rather than going through this process, what they do is they say, well, hey, I'm not working hard enough. I'll do more cardio. I'll cut my calories more. I'll take caffeine. I'll take ephedrine. I'll take some kind of fat burner supplement to 
ramp up my metabolic capacity. That is the wrong, absolutely wrong approach because if you do that, you further the cycle. This comes last for a reason. Most people try to do it first and that's why they make their situation worse and worse over time. So I want you to be very, very clear. Watch this video again if you need to. These are the six things that must be done and they must be done in order. And once again, I'll say this number one right here is the non-starter for a lot of people. You really need to check your mindset and understand that you cannot continue doing the same things that you've been doing over and over again expecting a different result. That is the definition of insanity. It simply does not work.